Let's review just a little bit about osmotic pressure. If we have two solutions separated by a semi-permeable membrane here in the middle, let's say that the one on the left is very concentrated in terms of solute and the one on the right is more dilute in terms of solute. We would say that the one on the left has a high osmotic pressure and the one on the right has a low osmotic pressure. And any time you have a difference in osmotic pressures and some sort of semi-permeable membrane between those, then you're going to get a net flow of solvent, let's say water, from the low osmotic pressure region to the higher osmotic pressure region. Let's go through the osmotic pressure equation, which looks like this. Pi times V is equal to N times R times T times that Vantoff factor, I where N is the number of moles of solute, V is the solution volume in liters, R is the universal gas constant, which typically has the values 8.314 liter kilopascals per mole Kelvin, or 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. The temperature has to be the Kelvin temperature, and then I is the Vantoff factor that we met a few lessons ago related to the number of particles into which the solute breaks when it gets in solution. This equation is very similar to the ideal gas law. You might remember the ideal gas law is PV equals NRT. That's essentially what we have here, except instead of a P we have a pi. Pi V equals NRT, and then we have that Vantoff factor at the end. What this means is that if we're going to use this equation, the volume has to be in liters because our gas constant has the unit liters. The osmotic pressure could be in kilopascals, in which case we would use this R value, or it could be in atmospheres, in which case we would use the 0 0.08206 constant for R. Let's try one example problem. Here we have a certain protein and a small amount is dissolved in water and we've made 10 milliliters of solution. The solution's osmotic pressure is given, the temperature is given, and the question is find the protein's molar mass. I don't really know where to start this problem, but I do know that osmotic pressure is involved. So I'm going to write that equation out, and then let's see if we can pick out from the problem what kind of information we're given. For one thing, we're given the osmotic pressure. Now, we're given it in TOR, and the R values that we wrote down on the previous slide require that the pressure either be in kilopascals or atmospheres, but we can make that conversion. Essentially, we have the osmotic pressure, we have the volume, now again, that needs to be in liters, and it isn't a given information, but we can change it. R is simply a constant, the temperature is given, and since this is a protein, proteins don't ionize in solution. In other words, we know the value of all of these variables except n, the number of moles. Let's make any conversions that we need to. I'm going to convert tor into kilopascals so that I can use the 8.314 value for R. The temperature we need to have in kelvins. Celsius plus 273 gives you the kelvin temperature. That is now in the proper unit. Mentally, we're going to just go ahead and change milliliters into liters. We can certainly do that. And then we talked about how the Vantoff factor is going to equal 1. So let's check and make sure that this looks right here. We've got the osmotic pressure in kilopascals. We have the volume, which we have correctly changed to liters. And in the denominator, we have the R value that matches up with kilopascals. We've got the absolute temperature, and we've got the Vantoff factor which gives us that number of moles of protein. Now the question is, what's the protein's molar mass? And of course what that means is we want the mass of one mole of protein. We have the mass of 1.2645 times 10 to the negative sixth moles of protein. So if we set up a ratio, we should be able to find the mass of one mole. Notice in this expression at the bottom, the numerator here, 1.5 times 10 to the negative third grams. That is, if you look in the very upper left corner of the screen, that was the first bit of information that was given. 1.5.
milligrams. Milla is associated with 10 to the negative third. And if you solve that proportion, the molar mass of this protein is about 1,200 grams 